Hello, my dear sewing friends. It's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity, and today we are continuing our conversation about transforming your knit bodice block into a variety of other different designs. And my true hope for this series is to open the door for creativity so that way you can see how many other effortless and beautiful designs you can create because you already have the base to work with, and then from there is just unleash your creativity and see what other beautiful things you can come up with. If you haven't seen the first welcome video to this series, go ahead and check it out. I will leave it in the info box below. A ton of useful information there so that way you will be well equipped to move forward. And today we will be transforming the simple knit bodice block into a grown on sleeve top that only has two pattern pieces, the front and the back. This kind of top is very simple to make, very simple to sew, but regardless of that, it actually serves quite a lot of different purposes. It's really great to use it when you have a beautiful bold print or a large print. It's really nice to use if you have fabric that you don't want to add extra seams to. So despite the fact that it's really, really simple and almost primitive, it actually is very useful in a lot of different life situations and sewing situations as well. So without any further ado, go ahead and grab your back pattern piece for your knit bodice block and let's go ahead and copy that on our new piece of paper. All right, once that is done, let's go ahead and grab the sleeve, fold it in half, and this is what we're going to do next. Take your sleeve, make sure it's folded in half. It doesn't really matter which side, back or front, because our pattern pieces are going to be exactly the same, back and front. So right now, the sleeve part really doesn't matter as much, as long as it's folded in half, like you see me do on a screen. Then what we want to do is, we want to make sure that this line of the sleeve forms one continuous long line with the shoulder seam right over here. So if you take a ruler, that will help you quite a bit. So go ahead, take a ruler, place it like so, and then place your sleeve. You see it forms one continuous straight line, and that's what we want. Now let's go ahead and take a pencil and outline. And what we want to outline is this line, which is the length of the sleeve, and the underarm section of the sleeve as well. Now my pattern paper is not long enough to outline the whole sleeve, that's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and fold it in like so. Of course, you will do what is best for you. You will outline the whole sleeve. Just in my case, it is easier to work with a smaller piece of paper so that way everything would fit on camera and I don't have to shift it back and forth. Alright, if I remove the sleeve, you will see some of the outlines in the pencil. This corner right over here needs to be at 90 degrees, just a reminder. And now we'll outline this in black in just a few moments so that way you can see a little bit better. But before we do that, let's go ahead and sort out this underarm section over here and let's talk a little bit about the ease in the body. Now if you're using my Knit Bodice Block tutorial, you probably have a Knit Bodice Block that fits quite close to your body. Now if you would like to make this pattern a little bit wider, maybe a little bit looser in the body just because this is the overall theme of this type of pattern to begin with, then what you need to do is you need to go back to your knit bodice block and you need to remember whether you had negative ease, maybe you didn't have any ease at all, or maybe you had some positive ease. And then if you would like to make your knit bodice block wider, all you have to do is you just have to add however much you want, let's say half an inch, quarter of an inch or more depending on the design or the aesthetic that you're going for and then you're adding those extras to your measurements and then that way you will be adding extra ease to your garment so it's really easy to do and before we move on to the underarm section go ahead and do that if you would like to do so as you can see, here's that new side seam that we've created, adding half an inch more ease to the measurements. That will give you two inches all around, so your garment will be two inches wider than the measurements of your knit bodice block. But of course, play around with it and see what you like. It just all depends on you. 
Now about the underarm section, at a 45 degree angle right over here, you know, approximately, it doesn't have to be exact, go ahead and take about inch and a half, maybe two inches, just really depends on how wide you want this part to be. So in this case, you know, let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do an inch and a half. There we go. You will make a test garment first and then you will determine how you want your garment to be. And now this point right over here gives us a guideline on how we need to extend this underarm section and blend it in into the side seam. So it's really easy. All we're doing right now, we're just curving it in and creating a beautiful underarm section right over here. Now this section of the pattern is quite important because it is responsible partially for the mobility of your sleeve. So if you make it too snug, you won't be able to move your arm in your sleeve quite well because this is the design of the top. But you want to make it wide enough to move but not too wide so that way you won't end up with a huge pocket of fabric between your bust and your underarm. So definitely play around with it. I find that an inch and a half, two inches from your bust taken at about 45 degree angle or kind of like dividing this angle if you do a straight perpendicular line like this kind of like dividing this angle in half so inch and a half or two inches from that point gives you a really nice guideline on curving in the sleeve into the side seam. And that's it, your back pattern piece is done and dusted. Now we need to make two small adjustments for the front pattern piece and you'll be off and running with creating your beautiful designs with this new top pattern. Now here are two options. You can of course go ahead and copy what we've just made onto a new piece of paper and then make your adjustments for the front pattern piece. But in my case, I'm going to do option number two. I'm just gonna use a different color marker so that way you'll be able to see on one piece of paper the difference between the front and the back. And after that, if you want, you can copy that onto a new piece of paper so that way you will have separate back and front, whichever way you prefer. So let's go ahead and get that done. Now let's go ahead and grab your front pattern piece of your knit bodice block and align it together on this pattern draft at the bust line. So here was the bust line for the back and we are aligning it with our front pattern piece like so. And now what we need to do is, number one, with a pencil, first we are going to outline the front neckline. And with that, we are also going to extend the shoulder point as well because our front pattern piece is higher than our back pattern piece, like so. As you can see right over here, here's the front neckline and here is the raised shoulder right over here. I will outline that in red in just a few moments. Now, because our front pattern piece is higher than the back pattern piece, we need to create a new sleeve line right over here. But what we need to do is we need to take a ruler and blend this point with the rest of the sleeve somewhere in the middle. It doesn't have to be exact. You just want to blend it in. So take a ruler, place it like so, and draft a new line. There we go, now that's better. And now this line is creating a new sleeve line for the front pattern piece and as you can see, it is blended in really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and take a red marker and outline that so that way you will see a little bit better. And that's it, this is your back pattern piece in black. This is your front pattern piece with the red outline details. Everything else is absolutely the same. As always, the stretch direction is gonna go horizontally. Now you're gonna cut one on fold. Here's the fold line at the center front and center back. And of course, if you want to extend your top to be a tunic or a dress or some sort of other design, then of course you're going to extend the length of your top. Because this point of the front pattern piece is higher than the back pattern piece, the front pattern piece on this seam is going to be longer than the back pattern piece. But that's all right, the difference is going to be really, really small and you will be able to ease the back pattern piece into the front pattern piece as you sew without a problem at all. And here it is. As always, a quick reminder, I don't add any seam allowances in the process of drafting. Therefore, if you want to see your seam allowances right now on your paper pattern, then you need to add them right now. Or you can do that the way I do it when I add my seam allowances as I cut my fabric out, whichever way you prefer. But as always, a quick reminder that there's no seam allowances on the pattern as of this very moment. Now, you can use this pattern for two-way stretch fabric or four-way stretch fabric, either 
one will do great. But if you're using a two-way stretch fabric, there are two moments in this particular pattern where I urge you to take a closer look. One of them is your upper arm circumference. You can see this spot right over here on the pattern. Just go ahead and measure that on yourself and then measure that on the pattern and make sure that you have extra ease in there so that way you will be able to move in it and the fabric doesn't fit too snug around your arm. And the same point will apply to your wrist circumference as well. When we're using two-way stretch in a regular sleeve that is detached from the body, the stretch goes horizontally so it stretches horizontally horizontally around our wrist. But the stretch direction in this sleeve is a little bit different due to the fact how it is cut together with the bodice as one piece. So definitely just double check those two points before you cut your fabric. If you are a member of this channel, first of all, thank you so much for your continued support. I truly, truly appreciate you. That's what makes all of this possible. And as a big thank you to you, of course, you have instruction sheets with step-by-step -step instructions on the modifications that you will need to apply to your knit bodice block in order to get to this top pattern. Now, here's another really cool thing. Some time ago, and this is a sketch from that video, we drafted from scratch this exact pattern. So instead of taking a knit bodice block and modifying that, we actually did all of that from scratch. And in that video series, we go over the design elements. We go over what you can add to this top to make into a hoodie, for example. I show two examples, a hoodie and a sweater that you can make from this pattern. We go over how to sew cuffs. We go over how to cut the fabric and fold the fabric, place the pattern and all of those things. And I will leave that whole playlist right over here. So go ahead and take a look. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video very, very soon. Meantime, happy, thoughtful and creative sewing. Bye.